what happens to scientific research during wars, disasters, pandemics? How do we keep scientists active and engage them in rebuilding vibrant research ecosystems after a crisis? How do we ensure that the research records, data sets, archives and clinical trials are not lost forever? The current number of refugee and displaced scientists can be estimated at 100,000 worldwide. Our current response mechanisms merely mean a temporary solution for a fraction of that number. We cannot collectively lose all that scientific knowledge and global investment in research. And yet, we still lack the regulatory frameworks and agendas for action needed. So how can we do better? We propose a straightforward agenda to collectively improve the protection of science and scientists in times of crisis everywhere. We distinguish between three phases of necessary action. Improve preparedness, enhance response, and ensure stronger recovery. And for each, we identify five critical issues that need to be collectively addressed. We also suggest possible responses to each of these critical issues. So who's best placed to implement these solutions? Funders of research, scientific academies and disciplinary bodies, publishers, research and higher education institutions can do a lot. Also, current international treaties and regulations need to be amended and expanded to ensure better protection of science and scientists in times of crisis. Together, these measures can lead to a step change in how we respond to crises and build resilient science systems that can withstand challenging times. To learn more, read the International Science Council's Center for Science Futures new report, Protecting Science in Times of Crisis. How do we stop being reactive and become proactive? Join us in ensuring better protection of science and scientists everywhere.